Welcome back. Well, after last year's disappointing summer, kids and their grown ups, whether we're talking about parents, babysitters, or cool aunts and uncles, <laughs> they are <laughs> eager to get the kids outside of the house and to get into more activities. That's right. And if art is a favorite hobby, Kidsburg latest learning guide features 20 re resources to help families explore the art. Kidsburg Ambassador Yuling Bear joins us now. And Yuling, on days like today when you don't know what the weather is going to do, indoor art, it's a great option. Option. Absolutely. So there are so many resources in Pittsburgh for kids to explore their inner artist, and a lot of them are online. So, for example, the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh has great videos that you can watch anytime you want for any length of time, and you could learn things like quilling, embroidery, um, paper weaving. You can even learn how to make flowers out of junk mail or take old T-shirts and turn it into homemade yarn. These videos are great. They're simple to use and watch my kids and I have done several of them mm -hmm. and it's so great because there are a ton of options virtually now but what if you want to do something in person or, or visit one of these destinations in person yeah absolutely so I always say a great way to inspire kids is to actually go see art and there are many great museums and galleries in Pittsburgh, but what people don't realize is there's also a lot of public art. So the Office of Public Art put together five walking tours from Grant Street to the Cultural District to the North Shore. And if you were actually to do all five walking tours, you would see 107 pieces of art, whether they're larger than life sculptures or murals that take up an entire side of a building. Yeah, and I always love taking like a good class, like where I'm able to like work with my hands and like see and touch and feel. So I always tell parents and aunts and uncles that if you're looking for something to do with kids, try a class. And I love that the Andy Warhol Museum is hosting what they call pop-up pop art this summer. So every weekend this summer, you can go and try Warhol inspired art making. So this could be photography, silk screen printing, um, painting, stamping, and learn a little bit about Andy Warhol's art. Um, it's Fridays from 4 to 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's completely free. Oh, that would be really fun yeah, to do. I, so too. I love the Andy Warhol Museum, Yuling, but we're lucky in Pittsburgh because we have so many different museums and different kinds of art museums to check out. So you, you shouldn't limit yourself. So if you haven't been to one, why not go check it out? Absolutely. And there's also just lots of great art centers and places for kids to explore. So I always say, you know, if you feel like you've started to explore one medium, try another one, such as ceramics. So the Manchester Craftsman's Guild and the Sweetwater Center for Arts and the Union Project, they all have great ceramic classes for kids of all ages. So you can try coil building, um, you could try slab building, you could even throw pottery on a wheel, and of course, learn about the art of glazing. Oh, that looks so much fun. Yeah, and I know as a summer, as a kid, uh, Yuling, in the summertime, I was always at a summer camp. And I, I mean, it really kept me busy all summer long. So there are many summer camps that I could talk about, but I'll only highlight two today. Um, this first one is from Frick Pittsburgh, and they have a camp for kids entering grades two through five. It's the first week of August. And what I love about this camp is it combines arts, nature, and history together. So you'll spend just as much time doing art outdoors as you will indoors. Um, another wonderful camp is from the Carnegie Museum of Art. And this one's for teens, high school students, where they will have a week-long studio experience with real artists at the Carnegie Museum of Art so they can deepen their craft, learn new techniques, and most importantly, spend time with professional artists and learn about their journey and how they got to where they are today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks like fun. Is there one of those fun. items that you might do with your little girls, Elaine? You know, we love cartoon art. And so we've done a couple of Joe Wos's Academy uh, videos where we've been learning how to drew, draw cartoon characters. And that's been really fun. And it's great for when you write postcards to family to be able to draw a little something in there. Oh, I love it. You always have such great ideas, Yuling. And, uh, you know, you can do a lot of great stuff online, but there's nothing better than getting that hands on experience in person. So thank you for these great suggestions. Thank you. Thank you.
We'll see you later. <laughs> and you could read all about these camps and all of the activities she mentioned at kidsburg.org. Yeah, and watch for you, Ling, back here next month as a regular PTL contributor so you don't miss out on family events in our area. Mm -hmm. So much to see and do.